Hello folks, Charlie Gipple here with CG Financial Group. Because of the previous video I did and all the outrage that came along with it, I thought I would do this video. You guys had said, man, you teased on this one product, this one chronic illness writer. We demand to know who that company is. Actually, that's complete BS. Nobody said that. I haven't even posted that video yet. But I'm sure if I posted that video, you would just be begging for who that company is. So that's why I'm doing this video. So let's say that you call me up and you say, hey, Charlie, who has the best GUL uh, product? Uh, from a pricing standpoint, we're just talking pure pricing when it comes to our client. Uh, our client, Johnny D, Johnny Depp, is 50 years old and wants a $300,000 death benefit. What do I do? Well, here's a little bit of how the sausage is made. Then we're going into the chronic illness rider with that company that I teased on earlier. By the way, I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet, actually. I'm gonna let you wait for a couple more minutes. So here is how the sausage is made a little bit. I'll go in here and I will do an eye pipeline report with which sifts the entire industry for the top paying, or I should say the cheapest products when it comes to pricing with what we're looking for here. I have a similar thing on the annuity side that looks for the top paying products from a GLWB or a SPIA payout, Canex, annuity rate watch, et cetera, et cetera. So here's our 50 year old male, Pennsylvania. We want a GUL and that GUL we want, let's say we want to run that sucker out to age 121. We'll use $300,000 death benefit. Why $300,000? You're going to see here in a bit. No fluffery here, not a super duper preferred, let's say standard non-tobacco. You're going to find that this company is number one, number two, or number three. Plus, I gotta admit, I've already run this illustration because I need the other illustrations for preparation and doing this video. Um, and it's vast preparation before every one of these videos I do. That's about three minutes of preparation here. But yes, we have protective number two. And folks, that is the company I want to talk about. American National is a great company. And by the way, they have a chronic illness writer. Uh, they have chronic illness writers on their term as well. American National is a great company and they as well as Protective are, yes, usually number one, two, three, uh, four, five when it comes to any of these scenarios on the GUL side. Protective, whether it's term, GUL, they are almost always the top three, which is uh, frankly, um, in this regard, why Protective is my favorite life insurance company when it comes to the pricing here, which pricing isn't everything, no, I admit, but Protective, Protective is certainly the number one life company that my agents do business with. So we agree here that Protective is priced pretty good, which is consistent with a gazillion other scenarios that I run on a daily basis, $4,014. But there's much more beneath the surface than just a ledger here, right? Granted, I'll give you the ledger, but then what I'll do is I will go into the actual illustration, the company illustration itself, to make sure, one, I pipeline is accurate here, as they always are, but number two, that we have the metrics so we can speak to not just the numbers, but the other stuff. And as you can see here, I already have the illustration up, the protective illustration. This is protective, protective's printout. Yes, it shows $4,014. Here's the problem with this illustration, with this product in its current setup. The problem is is something needs to happen in order for somebody to get their $300,000 and what needs to happen. The insured just needs to go and die, right? And dying is not fun. This is death insurance as it's set up now, not life insurance, this is death insurance. Granted, pretty cheap death insurance, but it's death insurance. The insured has to go and die. However, what if you said, hey, for an additional cost, what if I told you that we can add a rider, we can add an additional lever in which you can gain access to that death benefit without having to go and die? And that additional lever is called a rider. It's called a chronic illness rider. And what it'll do is it'll indemnify, not reimburse, indemnification versus reimbursement. It will indemnify you. And by the way, you could do whatever you want with that payout. And it's not a $300,000, just a big fat check all at once. How quickly you get that $300,000 will depend on what we put in the system. The quicker you get it, the more expensive the rider will be. But what it'll do is it'll indemnify you if you cannot do two activities of daily living for a 90 day period of time. That's called a chronic illness. You get access whether during your life or after your death, somebody else gets access to the entire $300,000. There's no discounting here. That $300,000 death benefit here for an additional cost 
whether during your life or after your death, somebody will get that entire $300,000 if you pay. Well, it's gonna be more than $4,014, but how much more? Well, this is where we go to my illustration where I included that writer, and this writer is the third flavor of the three that I talked about, right? So no discounted death benefit. That 300,000 is coming either before death or after death to somebody or a mixture of the two, right? $300,000 period in value from this product. As long as that person pays, how much is it? $4,663 per year. So that's an extra, what, about $650 a year. Dang, that sounds pretty expensive. How? That sounds really expensive. We're about to compare that to a traditional standalone long-term care insurance policy. Now, I cannot say that chronic illness is long-term care insurance because it's not, right? There are uh, regulations that say that you cannot solicit it as true long-term care. There are some differences there. Um, if you go beyond the $11,700 per month, which, which actually this product wouldn't even let you do that. There could be tax liabilities with this type of rider versus traditional long-term care. Won't go into all that here, but just know it's not true long-term care insurance, but we're about to compare the additional $650 in order to get access to a long-term care pool of $300,000 and by the way, how quickly did I say that our client can get access to that $300,000? $8,000 per month. Why did I choose that? Because that is the median price of a private room in a nursing home across the United States of America. So what I'm about to do here in a bit is I am about to plug in to our traditional long-term care uh, policy illustration, $8,000 a month for 36 months, which comes out to technically $288,000 long-term care pool, to keep it apples to apples, no inflation benefit or nothing, which is a downfall of these types of riders, right? Inflation benefits, typically no inflation benefits, just a flat $8,000 what I programmed in here. But what you have here is again, for an additional $650 per month, that 300,000, you have bought the opportunity to not just have one trigger, death, but have the other trigger, which is not being able to do two activities of daily living for a 90 day period of time. So here is what I did in addition to that, as mentioned, so that is an additional $650 per month to have access to that $300,000 as a chronic illness pool. How much does $8,000 per month for 36 months um, about the same, you know, that comes out to $288,000. How much does that cost? More than double what I just showed you an incremental cost with the extend care chronic illness writer.